Damping is an influence within or upon an oscillatory system that has the effect of reducing, restricting or preventing its oscillations. In physical systems, damping is produced by processes that dissipate the energy stored in the oscillation. Examples include viscous drag in mechanical systems, resistance in electronic oscillators, and absorption and scattering of light in optical oscillators. Damping not based on energy loss can be important in other oscillating systems such as those that occur in biological systems and bikes. The damping ratio is a dimensionless measure describing how oscillations in a system decay after a disturbance. Many systems exhibit oscillatory behavior when they are disturbed from their position of static equilibrium. A mass suspended from a spring, for example, might, if pulled and released, bounce up and down. On each bounce, the system tends to return to its equilibrium position, but overshoots it. Sometimes losses e frictional, damp the system and can cause the oscillations to gradually decay in amplitude towards zero or attenuate. The damping ratio is a measure describing how rapidly the oscillations decay from one bounce to the next. The damping ratio is a system parameter, denoted by zeta, zeta that can vary from undamped zeta equals zero, undedamped zeta one. The behavior of oscillating systems is often of interest in a diverse range of disciplines that include control engineering, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, structural engineering, and electrical engineering. The physical quantity that is oscillating varies greatly, and could be the swaying of a tall building in the wind, or the speed of an electric motor, but a normalized, or non-dimensionalized approach can be convenient in describing common aspects of behavior. Oscillation cases Depending on the amount of damping present, a system exhibits different oscillatory behaviors. Where the spring mass system is completely lossless, the mass would oscillate indefinitely, with each bounce of equal height to the last. This hypothetical case is called undamped. If the system contained high losses, for example if the spring mass experiment were conducted in a viscous fluid, the mass could slowly return to its rest position without ever overshooting. This case is called overdamped. Commonly, the mass tends to overshoot its starting position, and then return, overshooting again. With each overshoot, some energy in the system is dissipated, and the oscillations die towards zero. This case is called underdamped. Between the overdamped and underdamped cases, there exists a certain level of damping at which the system will just fail to overshoot and will not make a single oscillation. This case is called critical damping. The key difference between critical damping and overdamping is that, in critical damping, the system returns to equilibrium in the minimum amount of time. Topic. Definition The damping ratio is a parameter, usually denoted by zeta, zeta that characterizes the frequency response of a second-order ordinary differential equation. It is particularly important in the study of control theory. It is also important in the harmonic oscillator. The damping ratio provides a mathematical means of expressing the level of damping in a system relative to critical damping. For a damped harmonic oscillator with mass m, damping coefficient c, and spring constant k, it can be defined as the ratio of the damping coefficient in the system's differential equation to the critical damping coefficient. Zeta equals c c c. Display style zeta equals frac c c underscore c. Zeta equals actual damping. Critical damping. Display style zeta equals frac text actual damping text critical damping, where the system's equation of motion is m d two x d t two plus c d x d t plus K x equals zero. Display style m frac d caret two x d t caret two plus c frac d x d t plus k x equals zero. And the corresponding critical damping coefficient is c c equals two k 
M Display style C underscore C equals two SQRT KM or C C equals two M K M equals two M Omega N Display style C underscore C equals two meters SQRT K per meter equals two meters Omega underscore N where Omega N equals K M Display style Omega underscore N equals SQRT K per meter is the natural frequency of the system. The damping ratio is dimensionless, being the ratio of two coefficients of identical units. Derivation Using the natural frequency of a harmonic oscillator omega n equals k m display style omega underscore n equals sqrt k per meter and the definition of the damping ratio above we can rewrite this as d 2 x D T two plus two Zeta Omega N D X D T plus Omega N two X equals zero Display style FRAC D carrot two X D T carrot two plus two Zeta Omega underscore N FRAC D X D T plus Omega underscore N carrot two X equals zero. This equation can be solved with the approach X T equals C E S T Display style x t equals c e caret street, where c and s are both complex constants, with s satisfying s equals minus omega n zeta plus or minus i one minus zeta two. Display style s equals omega underscore n left zeta p m i s q r t one zeta caret two right. Two such solutions for the two values of s satisfying the equation can be combined to make the general real solutions with oscillatory and decaying properties in several regimes. Undamped is the case where zeta equals zero. Display style zeta equals zero corresponds to the undamped simple harmonic oscillator and in that case the solution looks like exp i omega n t display style exp i omega underscore n t as expected underdamped if s is a pair of complex values then each complex solution term is a decaying exponential combined with an oscillatory portion that looks like exp i omega n 1 minus zeta 2 t display style exp left i omega underscore n sqrt 1 zeta caret 2 t right this case occurs for 0 zeta 1 display style 0 leq zeta and is referred to as underdamped Overdamped if s is a pair of real values, then the solution is simply a sum of two decaying exponentials with no oscillation. This case occurs for zeta greater than one, display style zeta greater than one, and is referred to as overdamped. Critically damped the case where zeta equals one, display style zeta equals one, is the border between the overdamped and underdamped cases, and is referred to as critically damped. This turns out to be a desirable outcome in many cases where engineering design of a damped oscillator is required e.g., a door-closing mechanism. 
Topic Q factor and decay rate The Q factor, damping ratio Z, and exponential decay rate α are related such that Z equals 1 2 Q equals α ω 0, display style Z equals frac 1 2 Q equals α over ω 0, when a second order system has Z 1, display style Z, that is, when the system is underdamped, it has two complex conjugate poles that each have a real part of minus α, display style α, that is, the decay rate parameter alpha display style alpha represents the rate of exponential decay of the oscillations a lower damping ratio implies a lower decay rate and so very underdamped systems oscillate for long times for example a high quality tuning fork which has a very low damping ratio has an oscillation that lasts a long time decaying very slowly after being struck by a hammer topic Logarithmic decrement For underdamped vibrations, the damping ratio is also related to the logarithmic decrement delta display style delta via the relation zeta equals 1 1 plus 2 pi delta 2 where Delta lane x one x two display style zeta equals frac one sqrt one plus frac two pi delta caret two q quad text where q quad delta triangle lane frac x underscore one x underscore two where x one display style x underscore one and x two display style x underscore two are the vibration amplitudes at two successive peaks of the decaying vibration. 